Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Man, am I excited today because it is my top 10 magic products released in 2023. It's always an exciting list to put together. It's based upon those products that I purchased and reviewed during the past year. If you're brand new here and you don't know who I am, I'm Fiddlin' Johnny. This is my fiddle channel and magic product review. And before I do any magic product review, I do a quick fiddle tune. So before we get into our top 10 of 2023, let's close out the old year with a little all the anxiety. All right, there we are. Okay, I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's get right into my top 10 magic products released during 2023. Hello everyone. All right, let's just get into this uh, for this. And I, want, I guess I should start off by saying thank you. Um, I really do appreciate that you're here. I hope that these reviews are helpful for you. And today, this is really our top 10 magic product releases from 2023. If you're new here and you don't sort of know how I operate, every single product that um, I review, I road test. I'm not just opening up the box, watching a tutorial, and giving opinion and, and that stuff. I go out, I road test, I gig with it, uh, I perform for friends, sometimes family, uh, and I perform online as well. So I'm getting that full gamut of what it's like when a product is released so that I can bring to you what my experience is uh, in the real world. What are those crowd reactions? What are the difficult parts to perform uh, and effect? Um, those sorts of things. So I bring that to these reviews if you're brand new here. I hope that's helpful. You should hit that subscribe button right now uh, so that you won't miss any of my future uh, reviews on here. It was a great year for Magic product releases. There were so many things that were released and I'm on a budget, I couldn't possibly purchase every single thing that was out there. So my list will contain only those products uh, that I got this year uh, and reviewed. Now I got dozens and dozens of other products this year that either are still in the box, I've opened uh, and used but didn't review that are not on this list. So there's probably some products if I uh, had them this year, I suspect they may end up on the list. Uh, I think John Miranda did Leviosa, which was amazing to me. Angelo Carbone, everything he touched this year was amazing. I didn't get any of those or didn't purchase any of those. Um, Roddy McGee's Lucid looks amazing to me. Um, so, but since I'm on a budget, I don't always get everything. So you're getting essentially uh, what I was able to um, get my hands on um, or was sent to me this year. So. Um, I think if I was going to like Club 52, an awesome one by uh, Craig Petty, I never got to reviewing that one this year, but I think that's probably another really hot product out there. But again, I didn't review those. Let's talk about what I reviewed. In my top 10, they are in no particular order. When I get to the top five, the top five are kind of like, really, these are really my favorites. Um, so, but these are the top 10, and I'm lying to you already, it's the top 11. My top 10 and 11 position, I did that only because these products were released prior to 2023, but they were repackaged, updated, uh, maybe new tutorials added to them, and I reviewed them early in the year, so I wanted to include them because I just really liked them. And they are Rick Lax's Past, Present, and Future and Dean Dill's Blizzard. These are two great, solid releases that... Um, they are time tested uh, and obviously they've re-released them uh, because they're great sellers and they are workers. Uh, this is essentially uh, Rick Lax's past, present, and future. It uses tarot cards where you do a tarot reading and uh, are able to have your spectator in essence uh, predict or you're able to know and predict what their choices will be. Dean Dill's Blizzard is a deck switching device with a wonderful routine that's taught on there where a spectator freely cho chooses any card in the deck um, and it turns out that's the only printed card in the entire deck. There's a million things you can do with it, but those are two um, magic products. I think 
deserve to be on the list, even though they were released previously. All right, number nine. Number nine is one of those products that I don't know if it got a lot of attention this year or a lot of reviews. Uh, I was fortunate enough to review it, and in my humble opinion, it is the most thoughtful release uh, of the last year. And it was released actually at the very end of like 2022, but most people probably didn't see it till 2023. And that is Chris Phil Philpott's Feel Better. This uses the 100 Monkey principle in it, and the structure of this routine specifically is so nice because it connects wonderfully with your spectator on an emotional level. Essentially, you work with them a little bit about sort of some negative feelings they may have uh, from a deck of uh, printed uh, note cards. Um, you take a picture um, of the negative feeling that they took with them holding it up, uh, and you process with them in terms of how they might feel better, the opposite of that feeling, and in the end, you could have taken the picture on their phone even, doesn't use any apps, the word has changed, and it now has the positive word or positive feeling on there. Uh, I love it because it's just a nice way to connect with your spectator. It may not fit everybody, it fits my character really well with performing, and it's one of the reasons that I um, was drawn to it and really liked it. So, um, Feel Better is well worth checking out, and the principle involved in this is a brilliant principle, um, and uh, Chris has done an amazing job there. All right, number eight. Very different, uh, just fun visual magic. It is a Bitcoin by James Keatley. James, you did an awesome job this year uh, with Bitcoin. And just like the sound of what it is, Bic lighter is used in this routine, uh, in essence, as sort of your magic wand. And it's used so that you can make coins appear uh, and disappear. And also there's an add-on to this to have a coin appear under glass. Sold separately, uh, but sort of packaged together um, or you know, advertised together. You should just bundle the two of those together and get those. And as, as an example, you sort of are able to freely, uh, I guess, freely show your uh, hands and using the lighter, you tap your hand, you're able to make a coin appear. So um, that's just one aspect of Bitcoin as part of a larger routine. Loved that release and well worth taking a look at. All right, number seven. Number seven is very different than everything on my list. If I had to put it in, uh, I, I didn't put it in my top five, but it probably really deserves to be there. Uh, but it is Authentic Fabrications, Smoke, Mirrors, and Truth by Franklin Williams. So I guess if I had to do my top 10 books, this is my top book of the year or my favorite book of the year. There's a lot of good books out there. This is just my favorite. Um, it is the subtitle here, or um, it includes 17 pieces of magical theater and 14 essays. Um, I liked it mostly because I've been thinking about uh, doing some more um, small, I'm not gonna really do small theater, but uh, more parlor uh, and small stage type stuff. And his, um, this book, I think, really helps you think about your presentation in those scenarios to really authentically connect with your audience and how to make the effects or tricks that you choose to fit you so that as you're conveying um, your routine, it connects better with your audience. He takes, uh, through this book, very classics of magic but has really personalized him to him and his life. And you can see the impact through reading this book in terms of the connection it has with the audience. Really worth picking up. I love the essays as equal uh, as I did sort of uh, talking about the magical theater pieces. Includes all of his scripting that he uses in there. But again, it's more important that you sort of come up with your own scripting. Okay, this in the number six position, honestly, is such a cool release. And it's Crazy Sam's Fingering. Now, um, last year we had, what, Crazy Sam's um, Rubber Band. Sorry, I'm forgetting what it's called, but it made my top 10 last year. Uh, Crazy Sam's Fingering is such a freaking cool effect. Uh, it takes some classics of magic. It takes the ring through finger and moving finger and combines them together. Uh, Nicholas Lawrence is included on this. And, you know, Nicholas Lawrence has... Um, released um, the ring through finger type of effects. Uh, but on this, you're able to have a ring uh, 
uh, penetrate through uh, and move from finger to finger without it coming off the end. And in one of the um, uh, stages of this, in order to move the ring, you just take off your finger and move your uh, finger with the ring still on it. Visually stunning. A little shocking when you see it. Requires some serious practice, but once you've mastered it, you'll perform it for a lifetime because all you need is your own hand and a ring. So, uh, Crazy Sam's Finger Ring, uh, great, great release this year and in the number six position. Number five, all right, we're in my number five. These are really sort of the ones that I go to and actually use myself. And so the next one is Show Reel by Michael Murray. And just about anything Michael Murray touches is gold or worth considering. Um, this, for me, has become one of my everyday carries. I literally carry it in my wallet with me uh, with frequency and is an effect of essentially influence uh, through advertising is how I do it. So, and my structure of mine is that I pulled this um, out of a magazine while on a flight because it's one of those in-flight magazine uh, type pages uh, torn from, um, from a magazine. And I have my spectator pick both a movie and a uh, movie star that was in that movie from this list. And you're able to show how they didn't really truly have a free choice and how they were influenced. And then you demonstrate um, how they were influenced um, based upon what they chose. It's a little bit shocking to them, uh, your spectator, and how easily they are influenced. Of course, they're not really, but that's uh, in essence what the effect is. So, uh, number five, show reel by Michael Murray. Number four, Gatekeeper by Craig Petty. Now, I have a strong sort of disclaimer here. I don't think you should just buy Gatekeeper by itself. I think you should also purchase Keymaster at the same time. I think they go together really well. But if you just want one simple, um, quick uh, visual effect, uh, Gatekeeper is great. It's wonderful, again, for everyday carry. I literally have uh, it on my key ring uh, and it goes with me every day. What you do is it's a challenge. You pull the key off your key ring with the hole in the middle of it and you hand the spectator a coin and challenge them to see if they can't get the coin through the small hole. Of course they can't. You swear it can be done. You are then able to, um, sort of the pattern would be, uh, you just touch the coin, the coin, touch the uh, key here. You're able to expand the hole and have your key go through your key, have your coin go through the key. Um, and then you can have them fully inspected and you can return it back to its original position if you would like. Uh, so one wonderful, fun, fast, everyday magic. And again, I would say get Keymaster and Gatekeeper together. They just should, should be bundled in my opinion. All right, so let's get into something maybe a little bit different. And this is Appearing Glass by Steve Thompson in the number three position. It's as simple as what it says, appearing glass. Uh, no fancy name for it. You take a paper bag, show it freely and show it empty. You hold it up and away from your body with a little shake um, or however you want. Uh, you will have your beverage of choice appear in that uh, paper bag. It's fun, straightforward visual magic that can lead to, uh, I think, nice opener for other routines as well. And it's quite shocking to your spectator. Um, so um, I love that and I love performing it. Number two. Number two position is, now I don't know how to pronounce it properly, like I pronounce it equalizer on the tutorial Jao Miranda, because it's released by Jao Miranda, uh, as equalizer. This is a great tool that probably appeals mostly to the working professional, uh, but it is a sound illusion. And if you're not familiar with what I mean by that, a sound illusion is the ability to produce sound from an object that might not actually be really producing that sound. With that ability, you can be super deceptive uh, with your routines with the misdirection of sound. Um, a great tool to have, and I think for anyone who is working professionally, it's a tool uh, worth considering. Or not, if you're a strong hobbyist and you love doing uh, sound-oriented, sound illusion, it is really fantastic. All right, in my number one position, and I said at the top, these are not really ranked, you know, in terms of they just made the top 10. That's um, not entirely true. This really is, in my opinion, the number one release of the year, and it is Vox by David Jonathan. David Jonathan is just brilliant. And he's done a number of things with Nicholas Mavresis as well this year uh, that were really great. But what is Vox? 
Vox is the ability to use your iPhone and have your iPhone be the magician and perform in any card at any number routine. Keep facts here is that it really is just the iPhone, not an app, uh, and it uses the built-in uh, functions of Siri. Um, I should say you really do use Siri to have Siri pick a card and pick a placement of that card from a deck of cards that is in front of uh, the spectator. So it is ingenious, the method here, and I expect that this method will be used in future releases uh, just because of how ingenious it is. If you have it, you could come up with, use this method to create some of your own wonderful magic with it. So I think it deserves the number one spot there. All right, that's it. I know not everyone's gonna agree with me, like how did that make the list? That's insane. These are my opinions. It certainly caters towards my own personal tastes. Um, and um, that's why I put them on my top 10 list. If you're here for any amount of time, you know that I review a lot of products. Some may not be in my style that I like to perform, but I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna perform it, and I'm gonna come back here and do a review for you that's gonna give you a good, honest, road-tested review of that product. All right, that's it. You should now hit that like button, because it really helps, and I appreciate it, and I know that you like it, uh, at least I hope you like it. So hit that like button, and if you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. This is the channel. I try to get up at least one product review every single week. Not always successful, but most weeks uh, they get up there. So please uh, go do those things and leave comments below and tell me what are your top 10 products of the year or your top two or top three. I think if we can share with one another in the comments what you experience is your best releases or purchase this year would be helpful for the entire community. If I start to see trends in there, a product maybe that I didn't pick up, I'll look at it and maybe I'll pick it up myself as well uh, based upon the opinions of those um, that are leaving the comments. So would love to see those comments. Again, thank you so much for being here. My name's Fiddlin' Johnny and remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.